Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis, and you know what? I was wrong, and I'll explain why in just one moment, but before we do that, if you guys could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate that. So, last week during the buy, you know, I had a video and I'll post on screen right now saying the Pittsburgh Steelers must take this play out of their playbook. It's this jet motion with the tight ends fanning out to try to have some window dressing paired with this kind of inside zone type of play. And I had gone through the five examples of it that I'd seen throughout the season, none of which were successful. And I said, you got to remove that one as part of your self-scouting process. And lo and behold, what do they run uh, on on Sunday against the Rams for the go-ahead touchdown? The play I told them to get rid of, and we'll look at it on screen right now. Now, this one is messy and clunky and not exactly the way that you draw it up, but it is successful. It is a touchdown. That's ultimately what matters in the NFL. And as you guys can see, it looks like Kenny Pickett checked out of whatever was initially called and uh, checked to this play. You can see him talking to kind of all the key pieces of the play, the tight ends, the running back. I think he had spoken there with um, Connor Haywood initially. And the reason why this play seems a bit out of sorts is Pickett was making a very late check here in the play clock, which you can't see on the old 22. It was winding down. They just got the play off. And that's why um, usually the motion is going to happen, you know, to the point where Hayward's going to be past Pickett. But with the play clock, you had just to, to get the play off. So it didn't really work ent entirely as intended. But you see the motion here from Haywood actually influence the linebacker, Ernest Jones, and that creates the path there for Najee Harris to dive in over the goal line. So I want to admit my wrongness. I was critical of this play. I still don't think it's been successful overall. The stats uh, bear that out, not just an objective point, but it's funny that I mentioned that, have a video dedicated to it, and then what do you know, the very next game, they get to go ahead, touchdown off of it. So I uh, just wanted to point that out, that we're fair. When we're wrong, we admit that we're wrong, and um, a little bit of egg on my face for this one. So that's the uh, play. We'll look at it from the end zone view, view the other end zone view. Um, I'll do that right now and fast forward so you guys can see it from the reverse angle. And you can see Pickett making that check there. Pickett, you know, saw something. I assume maybe the left side being pretty open here, maybe the Rams being vulnerable to uh, to to that motion from Hayward and the perception of that motion. So I you know set up a bit differently. Got this pony set with Warren in as well. But this is a play we were critical of. It's blocked well enough, you know, even though it's kind of messy here to to get the play off. But it works. A touchdown is a touchdown. Pittsburgh three for three in the red zone against the Rams. That was critical um, in this game, obviously. And Pittsburgh comes out on top with a really strong fourth quarter. Good performance overall from Kenny Pickett. So just to look at this play. One last time, nice job. Enough there from Rodney Williams. Yeah, his head's in the block, but you know what? It works. It it doesn't matter. It just works. You get in the end zone, and it's a touchdown. So passing that along here as we head into Week 8 against Jacksonville, that I was wrong, the Steelers scored, and good on them for that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of content for you coming up here. Pretty rapid fire. Got the Jaguars on Sunday and then a quick turnaround to the Titans game on Thursday. So a lot of action for the Pittsburgh Steelers over the next couple days. But thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon.